Hey guys, this is Jarek the Herb Dragon, and this is my accuracy test of the Deji Ikazuchi. This is a uh, pretty much a favorite. I think it's the highest selling gun off my website. Um, I can't even think of any other guns that can really compare to it right now in sales. Um, this one has definitely sold the most. And this is the standard accuracy test, except for we've changed a little bit a few things since the last time. So to really show the accuracy of this gun. Now please note, see how small this gun is. It's not a very big gun. This is definitely made for CQB. It was built off the JGM4 Stubby, except for lots of more upgrades. Um, this one in particular, the Ikazuchi I sell, is light pulley ready. A lot of people have been taking advantage of that. I have the light pulley battery in here, uh, right inside here. As you'll see as I'm firing it, the rate of fire is going to be very high. And uh, I will also not be using the standard 190 round magazine that comes with the gun. I will be using the 300 round high cap magazine that comes with the gun. This comes with it too, by the way. There we go. Clicks into place. Uh, I actually think it looks a little bit better with this in it. But... Yes, please keep in mind this is for, made basically for CQB. It's not going to be the most accurate. And if you want full information on this gun, click on the link in the video information. There will be more videos including a review, accuracy test, and everything. And it's also a link straight to Red Dragon Airsoft's website where you can buy it. Um, and you may be wondering about this live holy function. Also on the website there is an extra option to get a smart charger and a lipoly battery. It's 11.1 lipoly, lipoly battery. This gun is lipoly ready and that's only $70 for the smart charger and the lipoly battery. It'll charge in 30 minutes with that smart charger. So that's what this gun is going to be using. Let's move on to the accuracy test now. Alright, so you guys are zoomed in on the uh, 50 foot test. First, it will be on semi-automatic, and watch how high the rate of fire on this thing is with a light pulley battery. Uh, first semi-automatic, let's see what it can do. Alright, let's go full auto with this thing. Alright, so it basically is hitting it every single time. Uh, 50 feet, that's pretty much CQB portions, that's pretty much what this gun is made for. Alright, let's go to the 100 foot test now. Alright, so you're zoomed in on the 100 foot target, it's past the 50 foot target, it's all the way back there. This thing is only about 5 inches wide, so it's a very small target. Uh, so let's see if this gun that's built for CQB can hit a target at 100 feet away. All right, let's go full auto now. Alright, so this gun's hitting it quite a bit. It really hit it probably around 85% of the time at least. So this gun is a lot more accurate than I thought it was. Um, a lot more accurate in this test than it was in previous tests. Uh, overall, decently accurate, not the best. Nowhere near being the best because it is short, made for CQB, very, very small gun. So, 100 feet though, that's, that's a pretty easy target from what this gun looks like. You're going to be able to hit a man-sized target at 100 feet every single time. Alright, so now we're just going to be firing the gun. Um, nothing at it in particular, just so you can see the spray of BBs that this gun can put down range. You're right at the end of the barrel, and uh, let's see what this looks like on the camera. Alright, let's go full auto now. Please note how high this rate of fire is. 
in the spray of BBs. And it's out of ammo in the magazine. So the rate of fire on this thing is crazy high. Alright, so that is the accuracy test of the JG Ikazuchi. Let me show you how small this thing is. There's my hand. I'm not that big of a guy, but that's that's pretty small. Here's my whole arm, so it's a pretty small gun. So definitely made for CQB. Alright, so that is the accuracy test of the incredibly popular JG Ikazuchi.